Good morning, Easterlingers. Hope you're having a good day, or maybe it's a good day, good afternoon, good evening. I'm not sure what time you're watching this, but hello. All right, I'm back with Jubilee now from the Marvel United X-Men, and I'm starting off with a Zenitals-like prime, but very mellow, because what I'm doing is I'm testing my new airbrush, and I had fun with it. I decided to get some matte gray primer. It is super light, which is great for contrast paints, or speed paints, I should say, more because it's an army painter product. And also then what I did is I also sprayed from the top some white, some matte white air um, paints, uh, just to uh, try and see if uh, it'd make much of a difference. Now, the point is I just wanted to have a little difference in tone when using the speed paints between the white and the gray. It's very light gray, like extremely light gray, as you can see. Now, her hair got most of the white, like the top of her gloves, the top of her coat, but the underneath of her coat, underneath the gloves and all that is the gray. And you don't see much of a difference. The only place where I really noticed is when I was doing her face and the, 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 the Crusader skin that I used started to like almost fade into the gray, which was kind of weird, so her face got really dark. I tried to lighten it up afterwards uh, off camera, like the next day to see uh, what I could do with it. So you might see it in the picture. You might not really uh, But it I don't know it so this it was weird the crusader skin what it did with the gray now This is Zaylot yellow of course for her coat her gloves and her her boots there uh, This is an amazing miniature also for that X-Men signal a symbol on her shirt and her earrings as well All right, we're moving on now to some high lord blue and that her speed paint of course So this is all gonna be done in speed paints by the way except for one part and that one part, I did not want to use my airbrush because I'm not steady enough to get super crazy details. But do stand by because there is a video coming soon with a larger miniature from a larger board game uh, where I'm going to entirely base coat with the airbrush. Uh, so that's going to be interesting, folks. And Slaughter Red is next for her shirt. Uh, again, these Marvel United miniatures are amazing. I mean, whenever you sit this one next to a zombie side hero or survivor, it is so huge compared to those heroes. Like, the heroes are tiny. And I always wonder, how the heck can I paint those so, you know, uh, they're so tiny. But anyways, grim black now for her belt and her hair. Uh, this I should have also, uh, I could have put a second coat of the grim black, but... Uh, on her hair because it's very darker hair, but you know what it gives a cool highlight again Sorry about the focus. I tried what some people said I thought it was gonna grab it all the time But as soon as I seem to go off-center, which I'm still trying to figure out the positioning when I'm recording this way uh, So please bear with me. Okay. I don't want to get bad comments saying you suck with your camera and your video quality suck Hey, I'm here to paint a mini, not to be a video producer. Here's the Crusader skin going on right now on her face and her arms uh, and her legs. And like you can see now, it looks um, really good. Like it actually looks pretty good. It looks nice and pale, but for some reason it darkens down. I don't know why it does that. I don't know if the gray seeped through or what happened there, but it's just weird. You might notice in the video, but uh, anyways, I really noticed it. Uh, off camera so uh, keep an eye out though so the hot pink here this is where I could use the airbrush because this is an air paint from army painter and this is for her uh, glasses there like you can see the artwork there she has those nice hot pink uh, glasses on so I put this on there to make this really pop again sorry about the focusing I was sure it was working properly but it's hard to concentrate on painting and concentrating on the camera so any miniature painter out there probably knows this matte black again or actually just matte black now to do the symbol of the x-men there on that little uh pin of hers and some hardened leather now in her eyes to give her that brown eye look i shouldn't have done that i should have just painted the eyeball like the actual balls of her eyes brown with like a brown color anyways i'm wondering if that didn't seep into the crusader skin now thinking of it all right some sand golem now for like these weird rusted pipes and parts that are on the ground i have no idea what they are so just putting some sand golem down on there and uh, making that pop a little bit more 
And now some Gravelord Grave for the rest of the ground. And I didn't notice that some of the Sand Golem had pooled up in some of the cracks there. So it's going to get mixed in with the Gravelord Grave at some points. But you know what? It kind of makes the, the ground a little bit more gritty, a little bit dirtier. Uh, changes the look a bit. So that's, it's actually not bad in the end what it does. So it's pretty cool. It gives it like a, almost like a, a sandy color. Um, well, sort of. I don't know. It's not it's supposed to be Sand Golem. But anyways, Jubilee is painted. And I want to give a shout out to my friend Honest Abe again for recommending this one. He loves the X-Men United series so far. Uh, next up will be another miniature that he has proposed. And another one of my friends has proposed another one. I want to thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you all in the next one.